The video is coming very soon, but before we get into that, April 6th is the last day for you guys to fill out a Sephora Squad testimonial for me if you want. If you don't know what it is, Sephora Squad is basically an opportunity for a long-term partnership with Sephora, and the first step to getting to be a part of that is having those who think I would be a good fit write me a testimonial. So I'm going to leave the link down below, and all you have to do is write why you think I would be a great member of Sephora Squad. Make sure you tag me. I would love to read them if you feel comfortable with that. But just wanted to give you that reminder if you haven't done that yet. Ooh, yeah, um, I have another Sephora haul, and this one is rather large as I am looking at it on my table. <laughs> so you guys know I love Sephora. I feature most of their brands on my channel. So I take this opportunity during the Sephora VIP event to pick up just a bunch of stuff as much as I can so that I can review and test and do videos on it over the next few months. And uh, I did not disappoint you guys. We got a lot of stuff today. This is my second haul. I have a recommendations video already up. I have a haul already up. Both of those were sponsored by Sephora, which I'm so grateful for. This video, however, is not sponsored by Sephora. This, these were my own Sephora runs out of my own pocket. And I'm so excited. Some of this I did order online and then some of it I purchased in store which I don't do very often but it hit different this time. I went to Sephora and had a literal heyday. It didn't hurt as much because I had a few items to return so it like took off a hundred dollars but yeah being in Sephora hit different this time. So. Let's get into it. I'm pretty much wearing all of the items that I picked up as well and I have to say my face, my makeup, everything, I am loving it. Maybe a little heavy for me. I mean, that's saying a lot, but it was heavier than the look I was originally going for, but everything looks really good. So we're gonna start off with the first item, which is the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. I've somehow ended up with three of these. So one was sent in PR to my house in Maryland, so I, I, I couldn't have that. <laughs> so I was like, whatever, I'll just buy it. I wanna try it. So then I ordered online because it said it wasn't in my local Sephora. And then I went to my local Sephora and they had it. And so I was looking at the shades and the shade that I ordered online was terrible. I find Rare Beauty's colors to be all over the place. So the shade that I ended up with that is a great shade for me, if you're shade match for me, is 24N. The model I feel like looked quite dark online, so I was certain this wasn't my color, and I've had items in the past from Rare Beauty that have run dark, but yeah, 24N is my shade. <laughs> so I have to return the one that I bought in a shade way too light for me, but I am using it today. It had a little bit more coverage than I was expecting. It still is like a light to medium coverage here, but I think it looks really nice. When I first applied it, it did look as though it was sitting on top of my skin, which I didn't love. But now that I have powder, concealer, bronzer, blush, the whole get up, and it's had a chance to kind of settle into the skin, I think it looks really good. I like the finish on it. It looks quite smooth. There are some areas where I think it looks a little heavier than others. And I do want to continue testing this because I am wearing it with a new concealer and a new powder. So that also plays a role. But first impressions, I think I really do like this. So we will see lots of these skincare, natural light coverage foundations have gone around. I haven't really been in love with any of them, but I think that this one is really nice, but I will continue to keep you guys updated on that. The next item that I got was a repurchase. In a Sephora haul I did about a month ago, I picked up a one size turn up the vase powder foundation because I love powder foundations and I just think they're so great uh, living in such a humid climate. And shade I got was so terrible. It was so, so dark. So I actually ended up picking up a shade that will work for me, Light 2N. This is the shade of the concealer that I wear. I liked the powder foundation the first time I used it, but it just wasn't in the right shade. So I think it's going to be a whole new world when I get to use this in my shade. I used it today to set my face. That's just different. I need to try it as a foundation. It's a powder foundation. So I'm excited. I'm pretty sure I like this. I'm just, I'm excited to have it in my own shade. <laughs> this was one of those things where it hit different shopping in Sephora. This item online never appealed to me but seeing it in front of me, I grabbed it 
so quick. So I picked up, this is a brand I've never tried before, the Sai Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer in the shade Light Bronze. I used it today. I really like it. I have a thing for cream blush and bronzers right now, but I love a bronzer that comes in a pot like this. I just feel like because you can get your whole sponge in here or your whole brush, that your bronzer applies so evenly and it looks so natural with that type of application. And I like this. It's not too pigmented. It is a bit of a slightly warmer shade, but it looks so even and healthy on my skin. I, uh, mm. I think I really do like this so far. I mean, I've only been wearing it for like 30 minutes, but I'm happy I picked this up. It kind of reminds me of the Chanel. The Chanel is definitely a little bit more cream to powder. This one isn't that powdery kind of finish. No, it just reminded me of it. So I'm excited about that one. I like that one a lot. So now I need to go back to Sephora and look at what else they have from this brand. Kind of an impulse purchase. I don't know exactly how excited I was about this, but that in-store hit different. And I saw Fenty Beauty had their Sun Stalker Face and Eye Bronzer Highlight Palette. I have some thoughts on this for sure. It is the snap packaging, so I think you can connect it to the other palettes that they have which I don't even like those. I think it's interesting that they decided to come out with this because who really needs this right? It seems you know only makeup artists could use this but I was still curious. I believe these are all new shades? Editing me is going to punch me in the face if I'm wrong about that but these don't sound familiar to me. <laughs> Anyways you have five different bronzers and two highlights in here and it's just like somebody using this for personal use you just don't need the, these many shades. Today I used the second private island bronzer and it, it's nice it's good quality Fenty has a great bronzer formula. I also use the highlight underneath my blush again really pretty highlight kind of small though I had trouble getting my fan brush in here. Other than a makeup artist I don't really see functionally I don't really see why they advertise this as such I think it would be different if they added like light matte highlights and something more so to like sculpt and shape the face as opposed to just being a straight bronzer palette and two highlights. I think that would have made it a little bit more versatile or to offer two different shades at the very least but yeah I don't know. I normally am attracted to palettes like these and I am attracted to this that's why I picked it up but in theory, was it great? A great idea? No, but you can also use this for the eyes. I actually think if you like brown eyeshadow, this is going to be great to use on the eyes. So there is some versatility here. I don't dislike it. I think it's good quality. I just don't love the concept, but I can certainly make it work. You know what I'm trying to say? I like it, but I don't. But I do like it. <laughs> anyways, I did pick it up anyways. I'm a sucker and I really want to try that on the eyes. If I end up loving it on my eyes, then I might come back and eat my words. Just think about it. You could get such a pretty brown neutral bronzy look with this. That's going to be beautiful this summer. So I'm not knocking it yet, but I do need to try them in that it doesn't make that much sense to me. And then I picked up one powder blush. I always talk about these. I always recommend them and I always pick up at least one shade during the sale. So I got the La Mercier blush color infusion in the shade Ginger this time. I don't know if I should wait for the next sale to get more colors, but I saw it in person, I saw all their colors, and I was like, I just I just need to buy the whole range at this point, other than like one to two colors at a time. What a pretty neutrally color. This shade has been on my list for such a long time. My look would probably look better with a rosy blush, but I just, I love this formula. It applies so silky. It's just a great solid formula with the best everyday wearable color selection, super underrated. So I always get a new shade of this and there's some rose shades that I am eyeing that I wanna pick up. Highly recommend their blushes. Like you cannot go wrong with them. They aren't a trendy formulation or anything. They will be amazing formulations forever. Okay, let's move on to the eyes. We'll start off with my eyebrows. I had the Refi Brow Sculpt on my wish list and I saw it in store so I picked it up but then I saw right next to it they had the whole Refi eyebrow system in a kit and I've never tried anything from Refi. <sighs> 
So I picked it up. And this was the last thing that I needed. So there are three different shades, like a light, medium, and dark. I got the medium. So in it, it comes with the sculpt, the pomade, and the pencil. I used the whole system in my brows today. I think there was a bit of user error. I, I need to use this again. It's that sculpt that kind of set the stage where I like mess things up. <laughs> My eyebrows are thin. I, I struggle with the uh, feather brow kind of look. Like I have a lot of spatial area of hair, but there's some balding spots. Anyways, so I did it in the order that they recommended, which is totally not the order that I do it. So I'm very out of my element with my brows today. So I started off with the sculpt and this is super interesting. So it has like a couple of different brush heads and then you have the sculpt product, which is quite thick and gooey. And you put it in your brows and that kind of sets the shape for them and the direction that they go in for the day. And they are quite uh, like gooey. It's not hard. It doesn't harden the brows or make them crunchy. I could totally continue to manipulate these if I wanted to, but they do stay where you put them. So I started off with that and then I went to the pomade. The pomade I was a little messy with. I don't really like that style of packaging where it's like a tiny little vessel of product and then you have to use the brush that they have. I don't love this product. The pomade though didn't overwhelm the brows. It's a very lightweight product, which I didn't know. So I stabbed the brush in there and made a huge mess. So just go in lightly, but it did actually do a good job of adding color to my brow. It wasn't too intense like the ABH at all. So I like the formula, but I don't like the packaging of it really. But it did a good job of like just overall adding color to the brow. And then I finished off with the pencil, which is super fine. I love this pencil for those hair light strokes. I think going in, I would would probably need to use my pencil beforehand just to get the bald spots on my eyebrows beforehand. I didn't like really using it last last, but I did love the pencil itself. But overall, a little out of my element with this, using it in the way that they recommend, but I had so much fun. I feel really excited to use this again. I'm excited I picked it up. It's like a new shiny toy that I need to play with and master. I've never even seen this kit before, which I don't know, I love it. <laughs> I really do. It's out of my comfort zone, but I love it. And then from Makeup Forever, I picked up another artist color pencil. I didn't realize that they just like got rid of all of these. They used to have so many colors. And I remember when they marketed it and they were like, you can use it wherever, whatever. And then now it's just like a line of neutral tones. And I think they started trending on TikTok. So I wonder if they'll end up expanding because once upon a time, it was a huge line. But I picked up the shade Boundless Bisque, which is the lightest skin tone shade, just so I can sculpt my eyebrows and make everything look cleaner and brighter. You can also use this in the waterline as well. I do really like these pencils. Anywhere Caffeine is one of my all-time favorite for what I use lip liner, but you can use these for whatever you want. And yeah, I just wanted a nude shade, so got that. I picked up two eyeshadow palettes. I'm really excited because I feel like the eyeshadow market, I haven't been as into it. So we'll start off with the one that I'm wearing on my eyes, which I think you guys have already seen the review on. This is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 Rose Palette. I ordered this one online because I didn't have it in store. Unfortunately, mine came broken because Sephora just like throws palettes in an empty box puts one piece of paper in the box and calls it a day. So the shade in the corner came all messed up. I press it down, but I'm going to contact Sephora because it just made a mess. <laughs> it made a huge mess and I, I need a new palette. I don't like that that one is broken, but anyways, Love this palette, it's stunning. Is it the most unique palette you will have in your collection? No, but if you like rose tones, you like Patrick Ta, the aesthetic, the way makeup makes you feel, the shimmers are incredible, I think you will really, really, really like this. I love it. Basic B Morgan loves this palette, okay? I love it. The other palette that I picked up, Impulse Purchase. This is also online, but <laughs> NARS, NARS gets me. I. <laughs> Their palettes are so boring and repeat themselves every single time, but I buy them every single time. So I got the Summer Unrated. I even didn't buy this when it first came out, okay? I was showing restraint. I was like, no, NARS launches that same-ish over and over and over again. Sephora sales comes at the garden. <laughs> It's so pretty though. Is it unique? No. It, does it look like the Patrick Tog? Also, kind of. It's a rose palette with neutral browns and I'm kind of nervous though because this shade kind of started popping out. 
but you get so many colors i like it i don't care i got it <laughs> so i'm excited to use it i swatched it swatched really beautiful i mean nars does have a good eyeshadow formula even if they're all the same recycled shades so i will enjoy playing with that one it looks fun <laughs> and then the last item that i got for my eyes was a new tom ford eye defining pen this is like my all-time favorite liquid liner i do not know what happened to the first one that i had which is a shame because this is a $60 eyeliner. I have a theory. I think my mom stole it. I think she wanted to try it out and kept it. Maybe that's not the case. I don't know. I lost it in the move. So uh, I had to get a new one. This is like the best eyeliner ever, but it's also the most expensive liner ever. So I had to get that discount. So this is amazing because there are two sides, a smaller side. Look how tiny, tiny, tiny this is. And then a longer side. I don't know what it is about this eyeliner, but it is magical. I feel like I can get a wing with my eyes closed. Something about this, the brush, the formulation, I don't know, makes creating an, a wing so quick and easy for me. The only thing is today's the first time it let me down. It did not go well over the Patrick Tosh shimmers. I had to do a few layers to get it as black as I wanted. So that's the first time I've been like, eh, didn't like Patrick Tosh shimmers. But the shape that I can get with this, the ease that I can get the wing in, it's magical. So I needed to get a new one. I could not live without it. So yeah, I picked up a couple of things for lips that I'm really excited about. So I wanted to get something from Dior. So I got the Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. I've never had this product before. It's an older product, but I thought the packaging was so pretty. This is like a purse lip balm. You know, you just want to keep it in your purse and pull it out and feel bougie. And I got the shade Rose Gold because I thought it just sounded really pretty. You don't get too much color from this. Honestly, I was expecting it to be more of like a lip shine product. I thought I was going to get more. I didn't get much with this with application. It does add a pretty rose slight glimmer nothing extremely special if i'm being honest i didn't need this but am i mad i got it no it's an extra purchase but she cute and i'm gonna put her in my purse <laughs> and then i did not know gucci was coming out with these well i did but then i forgot because i wasn't interested then i saw the display in store and i was like you're coming home with me so i got the gucci matte liquid lipstick the color range very very dramatic very deep i got the most natural shade which is like still quite bright so i got the shade cornelia pink the packaging of this you guys the gold top the gucci aesthetic is what i want in my dream home my beauty room if i ever have the opportunity to have a beauty room and get an interior designer because i couldn't do myself i will show them a picture of gucci and gucci's makeup line and the gucci store i would be like i want that in my room like make it happen i got uh, like they made a liquid lipstick look so beautiful anyways very interesting formula, super duper thin. It honestly reminded me of kind of like a lip blur. It looks really pretty. It doesn't fully set down. I think you get a slight bit of transfer, but I think it's really pretty. It's not an intense liquid lipstick. It feels very, very comfortable. So I like it. You do have to layer a couple of times, but if I need to layer a couple of times to not get some crackly lips, I'm okay with that. So I do like this. I think this would benefit from a lip liner. I'm not wearing a lip liner today, but I love this shade as well. I think if I had a bare eye right now, like just a mascara, my lips would be popping and it would be so pretty. And I got one last thing. I stood at the um, fragrance rollerball end cap because I wanted a new fragrance, but you know, then you look at the price of the fragrance and you're like, I don't want a fragrance anymore. So I turned around, made a Yui and walked to the end cap and I was like, I want a fragrance. So I'm just gonna find a rollerball because it's a lot cheaper. So I ended up with the Nest Seville Orange. This is a perfume oil and oh my gosh, it smells so good. I really like this. It's quite citrusy, very, very sweet. I normally don't like that orangey. That's a lie. I do like the orangey smell. I think I don't like the orangey smell, but every time I smell oranges, I like it. So I like orangey smells. Very, very fruity. And I think this is nice. I love Ness 
scents. I don't own any. I like their candles. Apparently now I like their perfume oils. I'm going to start looking at any perfume sets that they have. Like, you know, the sample ones, those are my ish, okay? I'm not paying two, three hundred dollars for a bottle of perfume unless I love it, love it, love it. So the perfume sample sets, they have a Nest one. I'm gonna go look after this because me gusta that. Okay, all right, you guys. Oh, look at this. This is lovely. I have a nail appointment tomorrow, so. This gel manicure, though, has lasted me two weeks, which is what they're supposed to last you, but normally they don't on me, so I am, like, impressed. Okay, you guys, there we have it. That was my Sephora haul. Will it be my last? I don't know, but I feel super satisfied with the items that I got. I feel really inspired. Like these products, I'm gonna have so much fun testing. I'm definitely gonna do an updates video with this and my previous haul as well. I have a lot of items from there that I'm testing also, so keep an eye out. And I also, you know, I plan on doing separate reviews of the Rare Beauty, the Fenty Beauty palette, and just, I don't know, some other stuff. Anyways, <laughs> let me know what you guys picked up from the sale. I will have the links down below if you would like to shop through my links and support my channel. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.